What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. In this lesson, we're going to see how to create a Facebook ads account. It's something very simple, very easy to do. So let's go ahead and go to my computer and see how to create your ads account. Let's go. The first thing that you need to do is log into your Facebook business manager and inside your Facebook business manager, you're going to see on the top right corner, you're going to see business settings, right? So you're going to click over there, business settings. Once you go to business settings, you're going to see this screen right here. So this is your Facebook business settings where you have many different options. You have options to create pages. You have options to create apps, to set up asset groups, uh, set up ads accounts. Uh, you have many different options, payment options, security center, requests, notifications. A lot of the settings that you have in your business manager aren't really that relevant. What you're going to be using mostly in your um, business setting is your ads account and your pages. That is pretty much it. The rest of the stuff that you're going to be working with will be inside your um, individual ads account. What are you going to do next? You're going to select ads or ad accounts. Go to ad accounts. Here you're going to be able to see every single account or ads account that you have. Um, if you don't use your account for a while or if you created one and you never used it, at one point it'll get disabled. That's why you can see I have a red dot next to it and it's disabled. If you do create an ad, make sure that you are constantly running ads or else they will disable that ads account and you eventually have to create a new one. The bad thing about creating ads account is that you cannot delete them. Uh, they'll get disabled, but they will never be deleted, just like your campaigns. So from there, you're gonna click on ad. Once you do, you're going to see three options. It's a drop-down menu with three options. You have add an ad account, request access to an ad account, and create a new ads account. So what you want to do is click on the last option. You want to create a new ad account. You need a new ad account for your business. So if you're starting out right now, you don't have a ad account, so you can't run ads. So what you want to do is go to your business manager, uh, do the whole process that I showed you, and here, create a new ad account. If you request access to an ad account, if you're requesting access to somebody else, it's likely that you have an agency and they are already running ads. So instead of creating a new one, you request access for them. Uh, I would either choose this option or this one right here. In your case, if you're running ads for yourself, or if you're creating an ads account for, for your clients or for your agency, whatever, click on the last option. So what do you do now? After you created your business manager, your ads account, you're going to have to get the page that we created in lesson two and connect it in your uh, business manager, in your ads account. All right, so this is how to do it. You go to pages inside the business setting. Inside pages, you're going to click on the add button and choose the first option. You're not gonna create a new one because we already created. You're not gonna request access to a page. You're going to add a page, okay? We created a page, you're going to add a page. Once you do, once you click on that button, you're going to see within the next few minutes, you're gonna have to type in the name of your um, page. Once you do, you're gonna get this green check mark button saying that it was successful. And that is it. As you can see, we added a page into our business account. Now that is it for this lesson. If you stick around, you're going to see me going through this on actual Facebook. I'm going to be doing this in the computer if you want to see the step by step. If you are wondering, if you want to do it at home, you didn't get to watch the whole thing or you forgot something, you can download this whole presentation, this whole thing. Now, like I said, we're going to go to my computer and I'm going to show you how to do it live, you can say. All right, so let's go. Okay, so here's the thing about Facebook. You don't necessarily have to go to business.facebook.com. You can go directly to Facebook, click on the drop down menu right here and access your business account. I'm gonna click on see more and you go directly to your business manager. Select your business account. You're not gonna be able to see your ads accounts right here, okay? You're not gonna see your ads account or your pages. Why? Because you haven't created them. Okay, so what you wanna do is click on this little icon right here on the top left and go to business settings. Once you go to business settings, you gotta go to ads account or ad account. You're going to click on add new and create a new ad account. Once you do, you type in the name of your account. Uh, you can choose whichever time you want. 
you can choose what currency you want to use and just leave it as select payment method. That means that you're going to select it later and I'm going to show you how to do this in the next lesson. So once you do, you click on next and just follow the instructions. It's very, very easy. Like I said, I'm not going to create one right now because if I do, it'll stay there forever and I'm not going to use it and I just don't want to get my business setting too overwhelmed. That's pretty much it for this part. The second part, which is creating a or connecting a page is you go to the business settings. Again, click on business settings right here. Click on pages. And once you do, click on add. Click on add a page and just search the page that you created in lesson two. Um, if I'm not wrong, the name of my page was this one right here. Alvaro Salgado Facebook course and just add the page. There you go. Close. And that is it guys for this video. Now, next lesson, we're going to look into how you can connect the payment method because you can't run ads if you don't have a card. Very, very easy. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Thanks so much.